Hey guys, America's Ant Nest here, and I uh, picked up some mealworms for my ants today at the pet store. And uh, so this is what I've got them set up in. Put some oats and a carrot. So we'll see how they do. This is kind of an experiment for me. I normally just catch insects outside, but considering it's snowing right now, that's not really an option. My ants still need food since they're out of hibernation. So what I've got going here is just what it came in, a little bin, and uh, some kind of sawdust type thing in here, oatmeal, and a carrot, like I said. And the carrot is for moisture. They don't really eat it. But uh, we'll see if we can see the material moving. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but if you just look down in it, the ground looks like it's just moving. So let me see if I can unearth one here. Yes, this is a random piece of Lego I found. Alright, here we go. Right, so I'll just put them on the lid here. In the case that you guys don't know what mealworms look like. Well, if we can get them out. Okay, so I suppose he looks dead right now, but uh, well now he doesn't, huh? But basically these are the larvae of a certain type of beetle, don't know the scientific name, and uh, they're great to feed your ants with, they're great for other insects or reptiles or whatnot, I'm not exactly sure what their main purpose is for food source, but they work great with ants. Um, the Tetramorium and Formica are eating on them right now. And uh, my plan is just to keep these guys in the refrigerator so they stay dormant in the larval stage, which is best to feed the ants in. As uh, It's kind of hard to keep them with reproductives with the beetles because you have to be pretty dedicated in feeding them and whatnot. And My parents barely let me have ants then I want to get some creepy worms. I don't think that's going to go that great. So, yeah, I guess this has kind of turned into a long and odd video, but um, just thought I'd show you guys my mealworms and what I feed my ants. So.